We have this incredible site here on Michigan, and so we had the opportunity to build something strong and architectural. And we wanted a real landmark, iconic building uh, in, in such uh, a beautifully architectural city. I bring together the chair and the fabric, and so that's really my creative vision. And then I make it all happen. I like the fact that every time I do a chair, I get to start from scratch. Having a service dog changes your life. Things will never be the same again. He's like me, he puts on a suit, it's time to go to work. All right, heel. He's always at my side and he's keeping an eye out for me. Stay. My name is Randy Dexter. This is my service dog, Captain. I am the campus director for Canines for Warriors Gold Family Campus in Alachua, Florida. I suffer from PTSD, traumatic brain injury, major depressive disorder, and a few of other um, problems that come with serving in the United States military in time of war. The captain comes from a shelter in South Carolina, and they sent him to Canines in Jacksonville. And then we were paired, and we've been together ever since. They'll take in the rescue dog, they'll do an evaluation, and then they'll start training. They match them so well personality-wise, and two lives have been saved. He's given me my freedom back. He's given me confidence in myself that I didn't even know I had, which has been... It's been pretty awesome. Everything that was kind of slowly falling away, he just kind of has gone around and like glued it all back together and brought everyone back in as a team. I love you, Captain. He's got all food in his teeth. A life with Captain is a good life. <laughs> Definitely. I've been a member of the Chamber of Commerce for about 11 years, and I joined because I wanted to learn more about the Chamber. I wanted to network. I wanted to use it as a way to develop more business contacts. Being a part of the Chamber has really enabled us to make connections quickly. I attended last year's annual meeting, and the Chamber strategically seated me next to the COO of a well-known food retailer. And through that connection, we were able to actually work together and close business. And now we handle all of their travel on a global basis. The Chicagoland Chamber of Commerce is more than an organization to me. They are a client. They are a source of some of my great friends and they're also a competitive edge for my business. This innovation center will lead the way for many other businesses and many other companies to look at what DHL is doing. You get your customers that are always asking, so what are you doing in the space of innovation? And this is a great place to bring them to, to see. Also, one of our taglines as an organization, and we feel that this is our commitment to the world, is it's called connecting people and improving lives. Uh, so we're breaking ground today, and the center here in Roseman will, as, as uh, Mayor Steve mentioned, not just cover the Chicago area, it will cover the whole of the Americas. This is not just people being here and working here, it's more nucleus for innovation. It's good not only for Chicago, but it's good for the whole region. Just trying to catch a bus. Just trying to catch a bus. At a certain point, my copywriter said to me, um, what do you want to do with your life? And I said, I'd love to direct. And he said, well, what are you doing about it? And so I took classes, and then one day I shot a short film that went on to like get into a bunch of festivals. And after that, I was addicted. Hi, I'm Sarah Elbridge, and I'm Kevin Bobinelli. But call me Bob. We're on the set of Super Narcoleptic Girl. Girl. And I have to play Super Narcoleptic Girl, uh, lotly because I have narcolepsy, which is a sleeping disorder. We are the creators and writers and, and producers. <laughs> ah! Oh shit, did I break it? Is this is this work? <laughs> and is this is that just was it part of an ad or uh, I, f I think it was for like a funny video we did or something. But um, it's also if 
if the guys from who, who the Daft Punk are out there, I'm ready to go. Just if you want to, you like falls down in a ravine or something. I got the helmet. My idea, along with Vinny, is like, hey, what if we started an agency from scratch with no bureaucracies, no politics, no siloed thinking, and we actually brought media back into the creative process, and we started an agency called the Escape Pod. We've really set out to create a portfolio of brands that we really believe in. So what's great about our model is we're really able to deliver on the strategic thinking to help your brand stand out, do the creative that's going to break through and actually like drive it across all different channels, producing everything in house as well. It's, it's one big umbrella and it's really just exciting for us to be able to walk the talk. We're at the Burlington Bar, doing some cocktails for Stolen Spirits. The rum is rum that's aged in bourbon barrels for two years, which is unlike any other rum in the entire world. The whiskey has a proprietary smoking process. We really like smoking things, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> at the end of it, that makes it different than any other American whiskey. You tip 20%, you order that, I'm gonna come to you every time. Shoe. What could be better than a whole truckload of really, truly unique shoes?